Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and this little video is about the Squircle. A Squircle is a squarish circle, and in aerospace, when you want to drive flow through something that's squarish, you don't want the sharp corners because there's friction, so you round off the corners in this optimized way. And there's a formula for a Squircle and it kind of looks like this x minus a to the fourth plus y minus b to the fourth equals r to the fourth and so uh, in order to make a squircle you solve the equation for y and then you uh, type that into the law curve creation tool of nx so if you go through the little uh, derivation y equals in parentheses r to the fourth minus in parentheses x minus a to the fourth, you raise the whole thing to the quarter power and you add b. So then if you start with starting values, a equals 2, b equals 0, r equals 2, t equals 1, x as a function of t equals t times r, and uh, t gets evaluated from 0 to 1, and y as a function of t uh, equals in three, par three parentheses r to the fourth minus in parentheses x t minus a, um, quantity raised to the fourth, you raise the whole thing to a quarter power, so the fourth root, and you add b, uh, and then you say z, t, uh, z is a function of t equals zero, and those are the equations that you type in to the NX law curve creation tool. So, what we have here in order to proceed, you've got to go to the expressions editor, and in the expressions editor, you uh, literally uh, just code that in. Here's a equals 2, b equals 0. You've got r equals 2, t equals 1, uh, x as a function of t equals t times r, and then y as a function of t equals three parentheses, r, all of this stuff. Okay? So now, um, <clears throat> when you um, have those equations written in, you go to curve, and you go to the first more, and you'll see that there's law curve. And if you use xt, yt, zt, and t as your variables, it will automatically create the uh, curve that you're looking for. Uh, so as you can see, there's the law curve that's qu one quarter of a squircle. Uh, you can only do one quarter. Uh, so then what I did was I uh, placed that squircle, if you will, in a sketch. And I put a little uh, reference line here and I mirrored the squircle, well, I projected the squircle into the sketch and I mirrored it over. Then I mirrored those two about the x-axis and I had um, a full, uh, clo fully closed squircle, if you will. And then I uh, extruded it, just like that. Uh, then I shelled it with a negative number so that I would have the uh, sketch inside and the shell outside. Then I extruded the squircle again, uh, a certain wall thickness with a certain offset. Um, to be specific, it was a 0 0.05 um, negative uh, extrusion with a 0 to 0.5 offset. So this flange, if you will, I'm creating is 0.5. Cool. Uh, uh, then I uh, put some blending in at the edges, uh, and then I put a hole in. And that's a mount hole to uh, put this into a fuselage or something like that. Um, and then finally I did a, um, uh, I did a pattern along uh, the spine. So there you have it. You have now a squircle. Uh, that is extruded into a shape that you can use as a um, outlet or whatever, and you're going to have a very nice flow in these uh, corners because they're not so sharp. So there you go, the equation for the squircle, the shape. It's amazing that NX can do this so easily. Um, if I want a larger squircle, I can type in 4 and 4. Doesn't like it when they mismatch, so... You've got to do that uh, like that. So there's a larger squircle with pattern of holes that's distributed. There's 12 holes that are equally spaced. Pretty neat, huh? There's your squircle.
Uh oh. <laughs> Control Y. There we go. Uh, again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Uh, thanks uh, for listening. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you online next time with something even more interesting, hopefully. Thanks again for watching.